Today, I'm going out to collect some sweet hardscape and driftwood. Don't go anywhere. What is up YouTube and all my fish keeping friends? How's it going out there in fish tank land? This is Joseph Harden from JH Aquatics and today I'm going out collecting some hardscape and some nice driftwood for this new tank that I'm setting up in the next couple of days. Today I am battling a little bit of wind and I'm also battling a little bit of music here on the beach. Um, the tourists these days love to bring their Bluetooth speakers to the beach and uh, blare their music. It's a new thing, I guess. Um, but there's some awesome driftwood all over these beaches from when the storms hit a few, well, eight months ago. Um, so there's just all kinds of random pieces of driftwood, really cool little twigs, pieces of all sizes. And it also uh, made a lot of new pieces of rock and, and stuff come from the hillside and wash up from the beach. So there's all kinds of awesome pieces of a hardscape, really cool rocks. Uh, here's another really cool piece. That is super, super awesome stuff there. So I'm gonna have a hard time holding back and filling up my backpack full of rocks and sticks today. But um, I am gonna collect myself some really cool pieces of uh, driftwood here. Just some random little pieces that I can take home and will fit into a pot and I can boil to go into this new shrimp tank that I'm setting up in the next couple of days. So um, let's go for a little walk here down the beach and see what cool stuff we can find. <laughs> Alright guys, look at this piece. This is a killer piece of hardscape. Sit just like that in your tank. This is definitely way too big for a shrimp tank, but um, it's hard not to want to take this piece home. I'm gonna have to leave it behind, that's for sure. There's lots of really cool small pieces around here. Stuff with lots of really cool layers and then really nice stuff. I'm gonna have to put myself together a nice little collection. Um, there's also a lot of awesome choya wood. Uh, we have a lot of cactus here on the island, so I have no problem collecting my own choya wood or cactus uh, ribs uh, for the shrimp tanks, for the shrimp to chew on. And this stuff is really light, really brittle and light, but it's perfect and easy for the shrimp to consume, that's for sure. Um, so I'm gonna bring back a few pieces like this. Um, but so many, so many random pieces of driftwood, really nice stuff that's all fresh from the hurricanes, just bleaching out real nicely right in the sun all day long every day for the last eight or nine months. I definitely can't take everything back that I've found today. Um, there's so many cool pieces of driftwood and hardscape here that I would love to have in a tank, uh, but I'm gonna have to hold back a little bit. I can't fill my backpack up with rocks and sticks today completely. Um, but I do have one piece of advice to all of you out there. If you do come to the Virgin Islands to hang out on our beaches here, I recommend not to bring your Bluetooth speaker with you uh, and play music, blare music on the beach. Uh, come here for the enjoyment of the water and the wind and uh, enjoying the sand and the, the view and the birds and all that. But um, leave your Bluetooth speaker back in your hotel room. That's my advice to you. Um, but I'm gonna continue looking for some nice pieces of hardscape here and uh, see what else I can find. I'm gonna put together a nice little bundle of rocks that I can uh, make a little nursery out of for my shrimp. So we're gonna go looking for that real quick here in a minute. And then I'm also gonna try to collect up just a nice little handful of, of twigs, like I was saying before, that will fit easily into, a, uh, easily into a pot so that I can sterilize them and boil them as well. So um, I'm gonna get moving down the beach here and see what I find. All right, I found some nice stuff. I got a nice little collection of small stones here. Perfect, just, you know, medium sized, smaller sized stones here that I can uh, put into a nice little pile just like this. So it'll be a little nursery for the shrimp to hide their shrimplets in and let them grow up safely and have some, uh, some cover. Uh, I have a nice little collection of pieces of driftwood. These are really cool little thin pieces. I like them because I can play with them and come up with a little design with them as well. And there's some cute little squiggly, curvy little pieces like this that kind of look like a vine. I really like this piece as well. 
pretty cool stuff. There's a couple of longer pieces, but I do have a pretty big pot that I can put these all into, so they will be able to get sterilized. I also found a nice little jackpot of choya wood. Uh, I have a really nice piece here, so I'll have, to, I'll have to cut this down a little bit. This is a really nice piece here, and there's also some bigger pieces. I might leave this one behind, but this is, this is a pretty big piece. Uh, a little big for a 20 gallon tank, that's for sure. There's another piece as well, but um, I'm a little sold on this piece because it has lots of little holes in it, so they can uh, the shrimplets can crawl in and out and hide inside of this as well. So um, I'm kind of sold on this piece of choya, as well as this little uh, pile of rocks and this little bundle of twigs and whatnot, this driftwood twigs. It's all bleached out from the sun. It's done its time outside and it's ready to be boiled and it'll probably sink pretty well. We'll see how that goes. So um, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thank you to all of my subscribers that take the time to watch my content, to like it, to uh, comment on it, to share it. I really do appreciate it. Uh, it means so much to me. And uh, if you're not subscribed to this content, you like it and you wanna see more of it, please go ahead and click on that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And uh, remember guys, keep your tanks clean, your fish fed, and have fun.